Right oh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm with uh, Janet, and she found me on TikTok or YouTube. TikTok. TikTok. Our friend referred her, right? Yeah. And so uh, she's been in pain, and so she has an unbelievable story. She does not want to be on camera, so if you guys make fun of her, I'm going to come kick your asses. She has a very unusual uh, story. I've never heard of like this before. During her child's birth, they gave her an epidural, which she shouldn't have had. She's had pain in her leg ever since. She can't sleep. She has terrible constipation. She has nausea. She went to a bunch of medical quacks and they only recommended surgery. Guess what? I'm just gonna adjust her neck. I know, it seems kind of crazy. Woo! My name is Janet. I am 29 years old. And before my injury, I was program director in a mental health facility. My whole back, but uh, the one that bothers me the most is my right leg. On a good day, it's the tent. The day that I had my baby, it like was as soon as I the anesthesia wore off. In delivery room, she had her anesthesia, and right after she came out of anesthesia, she started feeling this pain, right? Right. So essentially, it's all his fault, you're saying? Yeah, gotcha. basically. <laughs> It started more so like numbness, like severe. Where numbness? numbness? Uh, on my leg, like, my you whole you. right leg. It felt. It was. It felt. At the time, it felt more like numbness. Like just, I couldn't feel my leg at all. Mm -hmm. I thought I was paralyzed. First two weeks, what happened? I couldn't walk. I couldn't. It was. I was pretty much basically carrying like dead weight. Now, has anybody else ever had this happen? I'm curious. I know of back pain after uh, delivery. I've heard of that plenty of times but completely no symptoms in her leg, no back pain before this, and then all of a sudden couldn't walk, okay? Uh, again, it's very easy to blame the anesthesiologist. We talked about that too. No attorneys will look at this. No anesthesiologist will look at this. So they don't admit that they did anything wrong, and she's been in pain for how long now? How many months has it been? My son turned nine months. Nine months, so nine months of pain. I tried basically just pain medication that hasn't worked. I've seen specialists, I've seen um, my primary care doctor, I've had uh, MRIs, x-rays, And what everything. do they all say? What do they say? Surgery. Surgery. Is what's good. That's the only thing, surgery, right? Mm -hmm. Why no chiropractors? One, because I was scared. And second of all, because I, I didn't want to just go to like any person. Gotcha. And so what about my video made you feel confident about coming here? I'm kind of curious. Um, that you were pretty firm and direct and... Um, Me and my and personality? Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> I thought I'd been kind of a dick to them. <laughs> well, that, that, me. Can't sleep, bad mood, dizzy every day. Yeah, tell us about your vision problem, hearing problems. It's too. gotten much, much worse. Constipation, tell us about that too. Yeah, that one's pretty bad. So why do I point that stuff out? Not to embarrass her guys, because it is part of the same thing. So we're going to get her back feeling better, her leg feeling better, and uh, guess what? I'm just going to adjust her neck. I know, it seems kind of crazy. Woo! <gasps> That's it. Are you joking with us right now? <laughs> no. It's like an eight. How much pain there? Like an eight as well. That's as far as it can go. Are you joking with us? No. And again, why am I sensationalizing this, guys? Because you guys all think I'm lying. I'm going to adjust her neck and her legs are going to get better. It's going to be a squat. And you're going to think like, oh, it's all canned. It's like, it's set up. She's lying. I mean, would you pay in this much money driving so freaking far, taking time off work? Right? Uh, no. For a joke? No, wouldn't be. So, anyways, you guys watch a miracle in front of you, and uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. Anything else you want to share with us? No. Check out her face, because watch this. I'm going to do this it's called a straight leg raise, and so we're just going to lift this up just a little bit. Ow. Right there, right? Hold on, let's do it again. Right there, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> we'll do a little braggers on her, too. Ah. Yeah, so all positive, guys, for space occupying lesion, herniated disc, all that kind of stuff. So, when you guys come in and go, can you help this kind of stuff? Yes, sir. Her x-rays aren't nearly as bad as you think they are, guys. Uh, neck is definitely a problem. High reverse curve, really high. Lots of arthritis in the atlas area, but the high reversal is all I'm going to attack right now. Higher than normal, I would say C2, C3. I'm going to probably go just between C2, C3 where I'm going to adjust. Check those x-rays out and uh, watch what I do. We have 8 millimeter right imbalance, lower right shoulder, and left TMJ. Here we have 11 millimeter right short leg and some constipation. Here we have severe high neck reversal, pretty bad one third atlas wear, enlarged EOP, and arthritis. Here we have mild L5 arthritis. Okay, I'm not going to go fast. I will warn you, okay? Okay. I'm going to take my time. I'm not going to rush. See, oh, this is where I'm going to go, right there. That's where I'm going to go, right here. See how it's more on the right side and not so much on the left side. It hurts on the left, but the right's way worse. Okay. 
And so it's worse because why, guys? Because that's where the freaking problem is. Oh, Lord. Never been adjusted before. This mm. must be so scary. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, painful, huh? Right there. Ow. Yeah. And see that guy's right uh -oh. there? I'm just pushing right on C3, mm. C2 right here. I'm going to go right through that. Okay, mm. pop your head, please. Mm. I know, I know, pop your head. Mm. Got it? <laughs> this side should hurt less, by the way. Okay. okay. So I'm just taking my time, guys, because I know she's really scared. I mean, I have fun, joke around a little bit, but we want to make sure we get a good adjustment. That's the most important thing. Because if we... We only get so many chances. And so we want to make sure we do it right and let this go. Oh, you... <laughs> <laughs> My turn. I did? <laughs> Me? Liar? Let's help Jeanette up. She is one hurting puppy and she's probably a little lightheaded here. And you know, we're always telling our patients not to twist and turn or they will undo my work. So let's check in, see how this girl's doing. Hello? Yeah, my what head feels lighter. Feels lighter? How about the nausea? I'm kind of curious about the nausea. Well, I know. Interesting, right? Okay, upsy daisy, Jeanette. We're gonna walk down the hall and recalibrate that spine. Spread that adjustment from the head to the toesies. It feels like I'm floating. Like, I don't know if it's kind of What feels like you're floating? Your head? Yeah. <laughs> and how about your leg? It feels okay. It feels better. Does it feel different? Yeah. Um, like, there's like tingling going down my leg. And your leg? Did I touch your leg? No. What, what number are you at? Um, it's like a seven. Like a seven? Mm -hmm. See it bent over more? The reason one, the one forward guys still hurts a little bit and the one back feels better. The back one is more neurologic. This one is still muscular because she's been in so much pain for so long. The muscles are still tight. Mm -hmm. Is that it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. How much pain? No, it's bad. How much better are you? I'm kind of curious what you'd say. For me, it only looks like 5% better, but I, I, would, I don't know what you're going to say. Mm -hmm. I, I have been... No, no, your, your leg. Let's see your leg? leg and back. Because I'm kind of curious. Uh, right off the top of your head. Well, for sure, it would be like, and I know. But it makes a big difference here as well. because I Absolutely, but I mean, how about you came in for the leg in the yeah. back? I'm kind of curious what you think and how much better you think. 5%, 1%, 10%? Yeah, I think about maybe about like 5%. Gotcha. Interesting. Okay. Anyway, say goodbye, Janet. Okay, goodbye. The girl that was uh, terrified to be on camera is now going to share her story from yesterday. And she left here... And you saw her, she wasn't that much better when she left. I was surprised. But I think it was just kind of her toxic nature of just being in so much pain for so long, mentally stressed, anxiety, high anxiety. Her body was just falling apart. And so um, she needed some rest and she needed her body to, I guess now I, I heard, purge. So Janet, why don't you tell us what happened when you left here? 10 minutes after you left. Well, I did my walks and then I had the urge to use the restroom <laughs> like all night and Okay, and she's somebody who's constipated, mm -hmm. right? We didn't talk about that that much in the first video, but she's constipated. How often do you usually go to the bathroom? Maybe a couple of times a week. Yeah, and how long has that been going on for us? Since for the, like almost a year. Oh, almost a year, right? And so she left here and had to go right away. She couldn't even make it home, mm -hmm. okay? And then all night long, kept going. Well, I was able to sleep, and then well, as soon as I woke up, I had to. Had to go again. So, mm -hmm. okay, that's a very unusual. Now, the other thing too, she also felt nauseated from her stomach. Mm -hmm. Did you throw up this morning? You didn't tell me. No, I just felt like I had like a bug or something and like I had to like let something out. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. And I told her, I go, her body's turning on right now. And so since it's turning on, it's just trying to purge all those toxins out of her body. And so uh, and tell us about the uh, worry. She was worried that uh, she didn't bring her laxatives. Yeah. Since we spend the night at my mother-in-law so she can help with the kids. And I didn't even need them. <laughs> yeah, didn't need them. Because I told her, I go, laxative. These things. Anyways, what happened when you're paying? Um, it, it like um, there's changes for sure. So, uh, in the mornings when I wake up, it's normally like really focused in this area, and it feels um like a burning sensation. So that um kind of went down, and I feel it more like in the other areas that I wasn't normally feeling it because this one was so. So dramatic. Yeah. You said yesterday when she left, she was about a 5% better at, at most. And she was panicking in the hallway. Mm -hmm. And what are you today now, you think? I think it's like 20%. Just the fact that this is less, like it's already a big 
as a wig. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. And again, what have I treated on you? My neck. Have I pulled on your leg? No. Have I adjusted your back? No. Just your neck, right? And you poopsies, and your back feels better, and your leg feels better. Now, mm -hmm. tell us one last thing. How'd you sleep? I slept, so that was a plus. <laughs> yeah, and so you slept so hard, what, ha what ha had to happen? Your husband had to do what? Take care of the baby. Yeah. 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 I guess he said that she wakes up usually on the first cry mm -hmm. and he she the baby was crying and he, he, yeah, he didn't wake up he didn't, she didn't wake up so anyways what does that feel like to sleep feels good gotcha <laughs> okay you guys may ask how i'm getting her to poop um again when this the brain is connected to the body properly then just literally the whole body will work properly it'll start working better and so all i'm doing is adjusting her neck to reboot her brain to allow the body to work properly. That's all I did, nothing else. Didn't give her any vitamins, didn't give her any laxatives, didn't give her anything. Didn't tell her to take anything, didn't have her drink extra water, and nothing. I didn't tell you one thing. And that happens, guys. So it's true, and I believe it. Got tons of videos on that. I trust you today more than yesterday. You do? So you didn't trust me yesterday? No. <laughs> oh. Tender, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm pushing the exact same spot I did yesterday, so it could be tender a little bit from the adjustment, but really it's her problem. Ow. Oh. Yeah, and so when you ice, you gotta ice this spot. This okay. is why I'm trying to get your ice. Okay. The more you ice, the more this will be less pain. Mm -hmm. Okay, drop your head, please. I'm gonna adjust mm -hmm. your I know, mm -hmm. I know, you're good, you're good. Relax. Yeah, this real quick. Okay, good. Can you come towards me a little bit? <laughs> Damn. Are you going to post that one on Instagram now? Yeah. I wanted to post it yesterday, but... <laughs> yeah, tender on this side too, huh? Mm -hmm. See right there. I'm going to push lower on your neck. Not as much down there, right? Mm -mm. Yeah. So again, right here is the injured joint right there. And you can see on x-rays, guys. I'll take a look. I just put it up right now, too. Oh, you didn't let me prepare for that one. Oh, I didn't? <laughs> <laughs> but you might be to help you prepare. Believe it or not, but I feel less tense.